Hi guys, welcome to TriStar Gym. Today we're going to be doing Kimura from the bottom position in turtle. Go on the bottom first real quick. My partner on top here, my, my opponent wants to seat belt. Okay, he wants to grab me in the seat belt here and lock me down. Once he locks me down in the seat belt, things get really bad. Like I can turn me, he can choke me, he can put the hooks in. So I cannot allow him the seat belt. That's where all the, the bad stuff starts, okay? So put the seat belt on me here real quick here. Grab the seat belt. When my partner grabs the seat belt, this arm is the kill arm, okay? So now he can use this arm to choke me, choke me. Yeah, it's real bad for me, okay? So once my partner tries to connect his hands, I'm not gonna allow him. I'm just gonna tuck my elbows tight to my body and protect my neck with my hands. So when my partner tries to put his underhook inside, so he's trying to sneak his arm underneath my arm here, I'm closing that elbow, trying to put your arm in. He can't get inside. And now he's gonna try to slide his other arm under my neck. As he does that, and I'm protecting with my hands, I'm gonna trap his wrist, okay? So now, I'm gonna come back down here. He's trying to get the seatbelt. I'm not allowing him the seatbelt. I've captured his wrist. I'm gonna posture up, post my leg. Now when I post my leg, I'm gonna turn my palm towards his legs, and I'm gonna limp arm out. Now when I limp arm out here, I go right into a kimura. When I limp arm out, he has a, a waist lock. He has a body lock, potential body lock. But he doesn't have a kill arm. Okay, so he could wrestle me, but he can't choke me. So it's really important for me, I eliminate the kill arm. This is my first objective, okay? So we're here, I'm tight. He's trying to seatbelt me. I capture the wrist, posture up, post the leg. When you post the leg, don't post it anywhere near your head because the guy will seatbelt you. Uh, excuse me, the guy will uh, cradle you. Grab me in a quick, grab, take a cradle, don't move, don't move. This is really hard to get out of. Never allow this to happen. This is a very big mistake. So we never allow these mistakes. The guy goes to trap me here again. I grab the wrist, post, keep distance between your head and your knee. Hold me tight here with the limp, with the, with the seatbelt, try to get it together. Palm towards the legs, limp arm. Limp arm, the arm will come out easily. Wrap up the kimura. Okay? When I wrap up the kimura, it's really important. This is the most important key of this whole sequence. Keep this arm straight. If your hand has a wrist control, it's bent, your opponent can throw you. See, get up, see? Lock your hands tight. See, if my arm is bent here, I don't have a good kimura. It's better to let the kimura go here in this instance. Because if you hold on to the kimura, this guy can throw you. Just pick me up here. Yeah, he can throw me and slam me. It's very dangerous stuff. He saw Rory. Uh, every time somebody tries to grab me in the kimura, he's able to slam them. Because the arm is not straight, okay? So grab a seatbelt here. You guys trying to grab a seatbelt. I limp arm. Notice I turn my palm towards the legs, and I limp arm. Once I limp arm, look at my wrist control here. The hand with the wrist control is straight. I lock up the kimura. Now he'll only be able to touch his fingers together. Try to grab your fingers. Very weak. Try to lock your hands. He cannot stop me from turning him now. If he doesn't take his arm out right now, a lot of times as I'm going for a kimura, guys will pull their arm out, run away, they'll retreat. And I'll face the guy and I'll keep fighting or whatnot. But if the guy keeps trying to hold me and keeps attacking me, I'm going to be able to put him in a kimura. If I get the kimura, I'll be able to turn him, submit him, and get on top. Okay, so here we go again. He's trying to reach for the seat belt. I'm not allowing it. Pump towards the legs, limp arm. Grab the kimura, arm straight. When the arm is straight now, you're cooking. Okay, I'm going to sit down to keep your knees on the mat. I'm going to sit down to my back here. Kick the leg up. If you don't kick this leg up, then I can step over. Step over. That's, a, that's a big problem for you. Go back. I'm not going to allow this. Okay, as he's trying to step over, I'm going to hip escape. I'm going to hip escape. Every time he jumps, I'm going to hip escape. And I'm going to get the arm further, further towards the back of his neck. When I crank the arm, he's going to roll. I post my head. Hips off the ground. And walk over to side control. Okay. We're not going to see all the different finishes. That will make the video very long. We're going to see that in future videos. Okay, so here we go. He's trying to grab a seatbelt. I don't allow him, I do arm, I trap the kimura. Arm is straight, I sit, I hip high steer. As I kick out, he's gonna try to jump to the good side. Try to, I just hip escape, try to jump to the good side. Every time I hip escape, it makes it harder for him to keep jumping. I crank the arm, and here we go. Right when the guy rolls, I don't wanna wait one second. I'm gonna put my head on the mat, and I pick up my hips and get out top, okay? A lot of people make the mistake of trying to get up and, and unlock the kimura. Don't unlock the kimura, keep the kimura tight, head on the mat, hips up, get on top. Okay, hip ice again, and get on top. Now a lot of times when I do kimura here, limp arm, limp arm, grab a kimura, grab the kimura. Once the guy tries to crack the kimura towards the back slowly, yeah, a lot of guys will try to crush it with their body weight to try to bring you back the opposite direction. Okay, so watch here, he grabs the seat belt, Limp arm, I grab the kimura. He knows what I want to do with it. He knows I want to crank it behind his back. As I try to crank it behind his back, he puts weight forward. 
Now when he puts a weight forward, I'm going to shoulder roll, okay? and I'm going to get on top of him. But when you shoulder roll, you want to take the kimura and put it towards the far side. Okay? If I just turn the arm towards my legs, my outside leg, it's going to be very easy for me to shoulder roll. Watch. So put, put some pressure down. And now I just drive and get upside down. I get my hips over his head, crushing his head down. Now when I crush his head down, it's very hard for him to take my back, try to take my back. I'm going to be able to put my hooks inside. See, I keep my knees up high, I pass my hooks, and I come side control. So again, okay, so we're here, my arm. He tries to crush me down, I bring the arm to the opposite side, shoulder roll. See again, different angle, different angle, come on here, the side. Ah, uh, no, come this side, it's good. Seat belt, limp arm, bring the kimura here, nice and tight. He's trying to break me down, shoulder roll. Bring your knees in tight so he can't take your back, and get all the way to the other side. Some guys are scared to get their back taken. When you shoulder roll, keep your knees in tight, crush the head with your hips, and jump to the other side. Use your butterfly hooks to intercept this guard. Give me the left arm again, watch here. Real easy of way to avoid the back take. As I shoulder roll, look at my hooks here. My hooks come in tight. Here. Okay. When you put your hooks in tight, it makes it very difficult for the guy to um, get the back. In the worst case, if the guy is climbing towards the back, he has no kill arm. Both his arms are around your waist. So you're going to be able to shrimp out and escape the back. We're going to be seeing escape the back videos later on in different episodes. If you have the waist that I'm on top, the guy on top will usually get up, will usually be able to reverse and get side control or mount from uh, back control. So give this move a try. Let's see what the, how it works out for you guys. Be sure to leave the, the, your, your, your experience with this technique in the comments. Please like and share and uh, enjoy. Thank you.